Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 11, the valley of flowers. Textbook explanation with solutions. The purpose of this video is to make kids understand the answers are just for reference only. Students are highly recommended to write their own answers. In the hills of Uttaranjal, there is a place where there are flowers everywhere. This place is called as valley of flowers. In some places you can see red flowers blooming and uh, you can also see white flowers, yellow flowers, blue color flowers. All these flowers seems like a beautiful dream, doesn't it? Yes, because like a dream these flowers bloom only for a few weeks in the year. Uttarkhand, formerly known as Uttaranjal in the state in northern part of India. The winter capital of this uh, place is Dehradun and summer capital is Gairsan. So, in India map, this place is the red colored one is Uttarkhand. We will see in detail about flower. A flower is a special kind of a part of a plant. Flowers are also called the bloom or blossom part of a plant. A flower is a part of a plant that blossoms. Flowers produce the seeds that become the new plants. You can see the parts of a flower in this. First you can see the petal. Next the center part, yellow part can be called as pistil or stigma. And uh, outside uh, of it is stamen. Then you can see the sepal, stem, and leaf attached to it. This, uh, this is the parts of a flower. Next, there are many uses for this flower. You can use it for decoration, making perfumes, food, making rangoli, making color, making garlands, making bouquet, medicines. So, these are the uses for flowers. We will uh, discuss all these uses in detail in this chapter. Now close your eyes and imagine that you have reached such a place. How does it feel? Which songs do you like to sing? So let's discuss these now. Have you ever seen so many flowers growing together anywhere where? So you can share your experience whether you can uh, you would have seen uh, these many flowers in your neighbor's place, relative place or at your friend's place. How many differently colored flowers have you seen? So write the colored flowers. So namely red, blue, green, you can write the colored flowers you have seen. Write their colors. The colors might be red, pink, blue, yellow, violet, white, orange. You can mention their colors. Next, now you were just left counting, weren't you? So, you can start counting the flowers you were seen. So, yes, I was, but the number of flowers were countless in the garden. Are there any things in your house which have designs of flowers made on them, like uh, clothes, sheets, vases, etc.? Yes, there are many things in our house that uh, have these designs, like curtains, bed sheet, notebook cover, pillow cover. All these places you can see flowers. Next, here is the floral design given. The design in the picture is called as Madhubani. This is an art in a district in Bihar. During festivals and happy occasion, occasions, the walls of the houses and their courtyards are painted with such paintings. These paintings are made out of waste of powdered rice in which color has been mixed. So, this is eco-friendly way of making paint. The colors used in Madhubani painting were special too. To make them indigo, they use neel. To make yellow, they use turmeric or haldi. They also use colors from flowers and trees. The paintings show human beings, animals, trees, flowers, birds, fish and many other animals. Now, you can draw your own design in your notebook and color it as well. So, here I have given few 
example pictures you can make use of this and write it in or draw it in your notebook now you can look at the designs made by your friend as well so here are some pictures of flowers given mark a tick on the flowers which you recognize write their names too if you know so you're going to find out the names of each flowers first one is hibiscus then you know it as a rose sunflower marigold champa jasmine tulsi raat ki rani so meaning is queen of night chrysanthemum all these are the flowers given from the pictures given above and the other flowers that you know give names of two which so first we'll see which grows on trees gulmohar and kadam see the picture you can see you can see uh, this first picture where the flowers are grown in trees next grow which grows on bushes the lavender hibiscus these are grown on bushes next which grows on creepers champa coral vine or flowers which grow in creepers next which grows on water plants water lily lotus or flowers which grow on water plants next which bloom at nine night moon flower queen of night see the color of queen of night it is dark uh, brownish lavender color next which bloom in the day close at night you can uh, give example like sunflower poppy these are flowers which bloom in the day and close at night which flowers can you recognize by this scent even with your eyes closed you can just close your eyes and think about flowers you can recognize by their smell so easily you can recognize rose and jasmine next which flowers bloom all the year around which flowers bloom only in certain months rose and hibiscus bloom all the year round flowers like rajnigandha usually blooms from april to september next are there any trees or plants which never have any flowers find out and write you can is yes, uh, you can uh, see trees or plants without flowers they are money plant conifers these are the trees which does not have any plant sorry any flowers next you have seen some places where you can see this do not pluck flowers have you ever seen a board like this put up anywhere you can write where you have seen it might be in public parks and gardens do people pluck flowers even when this board is there no usually when this board is placed people do not pluck flowers why do you think they do this they do this as they do not respect the rule and some others do it for fun too so to make them uh, be cautious they uh, they uh, they have uh, used this do not pluck flowers board should they do this no it's against the rule and people should not pluck flowers what would happen if everybody plucked flowers so if somebody uh, plucked the flowers then there wouldn't be any flower left in the parks or gardens and it red destroys the beauty of that place let us look closely children can bring bring beautiful flowers or not two flowers to the class remember that they should not pluck any flower you can only collect the fallen flowers make a group uh, two three uh, children can form a group and you are going to discuss about the flower which you have brought first one what is the color of the flower it can be red so whichever uh, color uh, flower you have brought you are going to write i am going to uh, describe about the rose what kind of scent does it have it has a very lovely scent what does it look like it like a bell or cup shaped you can mention the shape of that flower does these flowers grow in bunches 
No, sometimes they grow and sometimes they do not. How many petals that does it have? It can be around 40 to 60 petals. Or all the petals joined together or separate, you can write uh, separate or joined based upon the flower you have bought. Next, outside the petals, can you see any green leafy structure? How many are there? Yes, you can. Uh, I can see some four such structures. Inside the petals in the middle of the flower, you can see some thin structures. Write its color. It is pink red. When you touch these, you can uh, feel the powdery thing. Next, next we are going to discuss about buds. Buds are the small part of a plant that develops into a flower or leaf. Blooming buds. You have seen buds on the plant. If there are any flower bearing plants growing near your school or home, look carefully at their buds. Now you are going to choose a bud and you are going to watch them carefully. What differences do you find between a flower and a bud? So these are the differences. Flower would be bigger, open, large and open, whereas bud would be smaller, closed and pointed. Draw the picture of a bud and its flower in your notebook. You can draw the bud and flower picture. Can you tell how many days will a bud take to bloom into a flower? Let us try and find out. So it takes about 4 to 5 days depending upon the flower or bud you choose. Choose a bud that is growing on a plant and look at it every day. Write the name of the plant. So I have written the plant as rose plant. When you first saw this bud, the date was, you can mention the date. I have written 10th September. Now when the bud has blossomed into the flower, the date is, you can write uh, the date which it bloomed. So how many days it took? For me it took 5 days. You can mention your own date. Ask your friends the name of the different flowers that they have seen. How much time did it take their buds to become flowers? You can discuss with your friends. Bud of a hibiscus takes 7 days whereas sunflower's bud takes about 7 to 8 days. Also observe how many days the same flower took to dry. So you can observe how many days it is taking to dry. Hibiscus takes 30 days whereas a sunflower takes 30 to 40 days to dry. Next, so many users and so many flowers have so many uses. So many uses for our uh, vegetable uses, flowers as a vegetable, many uses for uh, garland, for decoration purposes. We will discuss them in detail. What are the different ways we use flowers in our daily life? So we use it for decoration as gifts in the form of bouquet, garland. We use it for rangoli, for making uh, meals to convey our emotions like uh, sadness, happiness. We use our uh, flowers. To make us look beautiful, we use flowers. Do you know that flowers can be eaten as well? Yes, you, uh, I know that uh, flowers can be eaten as well. Are flowers cooked in your home as a dry vegetable, a gravy dish or as chutney? Yes, you can see the first picture, the banana flower. It can be used in vegetables and gravy. Next one is shaja, that is drumstick flower. That can be also be used. Next, you uh, you can see shifeli uh, flour that can be used for making chutney. Next, flowers in medicines. Flowers are used to make medicines as well. Find out names of any two such flowers which can be used for making medicines. They are cedar and rose. How is rose water used in your house? Is it used for a medicine, lassie, sweet? Rose water is used as a medicine for the eyes and skin and it can be mixed with sweets and lassi too. Colors from flowers. Find out and write the name of some flowers that are making colors, that are used for making colors. You can write rose, saffron and hibiscus. Can you think of a color of which there is no flower? So you can write um, gray, silver. These colors are... Uh, there are no flowers. 
write the name of such flowers which are used to make scents you can use uh, lavender jasmine rose and many other flowers are used for making scents so next one is granny's recipe for your skin mix equal part of rose water and glycerin fill this in a bottle you can add few drops of lemon juice in winters use this mixture on your skin your skin will not crack or dry next next uh, uh, in the district of uh, in the district in uttar pradesh they have used uh, they are using more number of flowers for making uh, itr rose water kevra these are made from flowers thousands of people are engaged in this work next we are going to talk about this so have you ever read or heard any songs about flowers do you know where such songs are sung yes you can uh, expect these in occasions of marriage do you or anybody else at home know such uh, songs you can write uh, your own uh, family person either it can be mother auntie who knows such songs or any special flowers used on certain occasions or festivals so you can uh, describe it like a uh, occasion or festivals and write the name of the flower in marriage we use bouquet in valentines day use, we use uh, rose religious ceremony um, we use uh, marigold during birthday parties you can expect a rose and tulip to decorate next let us know some more have you ever seen anyone selling flowers anywhere if there are any flower sellers nearby you can ask the questions what are the different flowers they sell ask them the name of the flowers so they sell they might sell uh, rose marigold dahlia lotus where do they bring these flowers from they bring these flowers from horticulture farms or gardens why do they uh, why do people buy these flowers for decoration worship and to gift them to others in what forms do flower sellers sell their flowers so see these are many forms they sell either it can be garland either it can be a uh, gajra so these are types of forms in which flower has been sold any other form is seller sell flowers in the form of gajra so the, you can uh, see this type in shop next some flowers are used in different forms like rose and marigold are used in garlands and uh, loose petals too find out the prices of each one ga garland can be rupees 300 one strand can be rupees 50 one uh, flower can be uh, rupees 30 or 20 depending upon the season in which it is uh, sold and depending upon the place has the flower seller learned to make bouquets or net of flowers from anybody from home so you can ask the flower seller these questions so they would have uh, learned from their father or uh, brother you can write after discussing with them would they like the other members of their family to to do this work why because if they engage other family members they will be earning extra income from this next let us do this activity so we are going to do this activity we'll see the procedure step by step first what you are going to do is first you are going to collect the flowers do not pluck flowers you can you are going to collect the flowers which has fallen down next you are going to press it in your notebook or the old newspaper next after some time it will be dried after drying you can uh, make use of that uh, dried flowers for making pretty cards or you can use it for any other decorative purposes i think you have learned uh, more about flowers in this video i have explained as much as possible if you have any doubt do post in comment hope this video is useful and uh, it is understanding thanks for watching